Look around at the world we live in. Everything's set up to make life easy, more comfortable. The shopping centers all over the face of America, crammed with identical assembly line goods. Hurry, don't wait. It's better, it's cheaper. What size, please? Packaged for your convenience. It's quicker, at no extra cost. Yes, it's a fast-moving, push-button age, with many benefits. But sometimes things get distorted. Take young people, for instance. How are they affected by all this? Even some of their amusements come already processed and packaged. A steady diet of comics and television acts like a drug on children, turning them into passive spectators. Nothing really harmful, perhaps, if it's kept in perspective. Mrs. White had been thinking about all these things. Now take that so-called painting set. It reminded her of something. Yes, those wallets her Girl Scout troop had made last year. Such a nice, easy project, with the holes already punched. Just use your hands. You don't need to think or feel anything inside. No, that was no adventure. But every year the girls want to do something in the arts. Where do you find inspiration for something really creative? Look at the world around you as though for the first time. Just down the street you can see patterns in sunlight and shadow. A variety of color, line and form. artist has the power to see color, line, and form everywhere. And children do too. Children spill out their impressions, slapping color over the edges just as nature does. Each child gets joy and fulfillment out of expressing himself in his own way. Children find expression in music and rhythms, too, in playing out their fantasies and sense of enchantment. Later comes a growth in skills, a sense of balance and form in handling materials, a more disciplined channel of expression. Any leader can help her girls discover their own creative powers. But how? Mrs. White thought a program consultant might start her off. Mr. Bruno certainly had some new ideas. A little knowledge of technique helps. Use big free strokes. 
But understanding children's way of seeing and expressing themselves is more important. A child has a sense of wonder with the simplest things. Children see things the rest of us often miss. Children are more spontaneous in their expression, too. But don't look for your own idea of a pretty picture. Children are naturally creative. What they need from you is understanding and encouragement. So, this year things were going to be different. At least that's what the leaders hoped. There were books and other helps. But it wasn't going to be so easy. By now, they were full of new ideas about a creative arts program. But they had to help the girls make their own plans. Fancy theories are fine, but putting them into practice is another story. Still, the patrol system itself helps. Every voice is heard. Each patrol has ideas on fun for the year. Music, cooking, the county fair, painting, so many things to do. Afterward, the patrol leaders meet with Mrs. White to sort and combine their ideas. And out of this comes the beginnings of a troop plan. Which one could they start on first? Arts and crafts? But Polly has a different idea. This is all very fine, but her patrol wants to go to the county fair next week. Oh dear, the arts will have to wait. Remember, the girls make their own plans. Anyway, it sounds like fun. Fair is a razzle-dazzle thing. Not just a good time, but a jumble of color, patterns, shapes, and sounds for thirsty young minds to drink in. Let the great Raman read your mind. See Bonzo, the man with the iron throat. Beginning now. See Axel break his chains, the strongest man in the world. Any vivid troop experience opens doors to new interests. It's important that leaders be aware of what these interests are and where they might lead. <coughs> then the leaders got another idea. With so many patterns and designs, Maybe the fair itself could be the springboard for their first venture in the arts. next meeting seemed like a good time to start. But when it comes right down to it, how do you help children express themselves freely? There are no magic formulas. It's more a state of mind on the part of the leaders. 
Today, for instance, there was a new feeling in the air that brought all kinds of materials, even scraps. There was to be plenty of time for exploration, free choice of medium and subject. Who wants to make a picture of the county fair? Each child is different. Each child reacts in a different way. Some will plunge right in. Others may be slow to start. After a while, the sights and sounds of the fair begin to come alive right there in the room. Is this a waste of paint or a real experiment? Mrs. White wondered and kept hands off. Sometimes you can help a child find her way. Kathy makes the same cramped little drawing over and over. She's afraid to let herself go. You can't be too direct with Kathy or any child on something like the arts. Let's all try big free strokes. Fill the whole page. With a little encouragement, Kathy may surprise you later on. Occasionally, a hidden talent is uncovered. In time, it may develop into something really fine. Recognition like this is a new experience for Barbara, and it means a lot to her. That day, every bit of material was put to use, even scraps for collage. Sandy drew a picture of the sounds of the fair. To the leaders, this meeting was an exciting start. The girls were spilling out their impressions in all kinds of creative ways. The leaders didn't understand everything exactly, but they caught a glimpse of a child's wonderful world. After that, some of the most interested girls went on to learn some exciting new techniques, such as crayon etching. The pattern of sunlight through leaves was the basis for Barbara's design. As for Diane, it seems she'd never get tired of drawing horses. She loved them so much. There were new materials to experiment with. Tina's aunt had shown her how to make a picture out of burlap, yarn, and patchwork. One patrol has been exploring the mysteries of paper mache for the drawing and painting badge. 
All you need is water, flour, and paper. A little paint when it's dry. Of course, sometimes there are tempting distractions on the fringes, such as a fierce bullfight. Let's not try to suppress high spirits, as long as others aren't disturbed. But if things get out of hand, the leader must do something about it. Sometimes even horseplay can be a clue for new ideas. Pantomime is an art too. Remember? See Bonzo, the man with the iron throat. There were other adventures too. Even the overnight hike they had planned so long finally came true. Some girls learned the art of jelly making for the foods badge. It's really too beautiful to eat. And one group visited the local museum, discovering their heritage from an earlier America. Try to imagine what it was like to live back in those days. There were few machines then, and people made beautiful, simple things with their own hands. Wouldn't a Paul Revere lantern be fun to make? Mr. Sturgis, the curator, gives up an afternoon each week from his store to be among the things that he loves. See? This is how the county fair once looked. In the old days, it was held right where the shopping center now stands. It hasn't changed so much. Other girls have been working on their group musician badge with a school music teacher. They teach the ballad to the whole troop for the parents' party at the end of the year. Lady Greensleeves and her suitors will be there in person. So before they knew it, the day for the parents' party had arrived. September to June is a long time. The exhibit they had made told the story of their whole year's activities. Every part of the display was exciting, not just for itself, but for the adventures that lay behind it. An adventure in the arts is many things. It's a new, sure feeling about yourself inside. It's the fun of creating something with your own hands that no machine can duplicate. It's a leader's discovery that each child has something unique to contribute. Nobody looks for rewards, but you find them anyway in little things. 
like Kathy and her pig. In the creative ways the girls have used their everyday experiences. There's the fun of making things and the pride of showing what you've done. Each child is unique. In an age of standardization, any leader can still help her girls find an adventure in the arts. 